look at this gorgeous rhubarb. It's so vibrant. It's so beautiful. Um, I was really overjoyed when I saw it at the store today. It really is spring. So we're going to make some jam. And we're also going to do some strawberries in there because it's just so classic. So I'm just starting by thinly slicing all of our rhubarb. And rhubarb is just the prettiest thing I've ever seen. I love it. And if you've never had strawberry rhubarb jam before, it really tastes like a fruit roll up, which is so crazy. So this is about a pound of rhubarb and I'm just going to add that to our pot. And jam is really easy to make. It's really just like cooking it down with sugar. And then I'm just gonna dice up about a pound of strawberries. They don't have to be like a really perfect shape or anything. Everything's just gonna kind of cook down. And there's nothing quite like a fresh homemade jam. It just makes me so happy. So we'll add all of our strawberries in the pot as well. And I'm zesting and juicing some citrus into here. I'm gonna do an orange and a lemon. Then we're gonna add our sugar. And jam takes a lot of sugar, so don't be alarmed. And a touch of salt. And now we just cook the whole thing down. So we're gonna cook our jam down for about an hour till it's nice and thick and everything's kind of broken down and it looks like jam. And as this cooks down, you really wanna stir it quite frequently so it doesn't scorch on the bottom, because that would be very sad. If you have a thermometer, you can check the temperature of it. You're looking for about 217 for the right jam consistency. Very exciting stuff happening here. And this is about halfway through the cooking time. It's still quite thin, but everything's kind of breaking down. And we're at about 210, so we're getting close. So this is what we're looking for. And I'm gonna let the jam just cool down a bit before we jar it up. And how cool is it that it just breaks down like this on its own? No blending or anything. So this is still a little bit warm, but it's cooled off quite a bit. And I'm just gonna try to add it to our jar without making a mess. Oh gosh. Now, if you wanted to make like a shelf stable um, jar of jam, you would have to like sterilize the jar and like seal it and everything. But since I'm just gonna put this in the fridge, um, I'm just gonna put it right in the jar. So usually you'd wanna fully cool this jam down um, before you eat it, but I just can't resist a little fresh jam on some ricotta toast. So we're gonna try it. And this is some focaccia that I made earlier this week. Mm-hmm, that is good. These really are the things that make me so happy. Mm.